All right, now that we've got everything wired up, what we want to do is just add a new scene manager and another subsystem. Call this game system, and we'll call this tutorial scene manager. Wire this up. Let's go add our root element inside of our game system. Just call this game root. And we want a view for that. So let's call it game root view. Drag that over. And we'll want a command to transfer back into the main menu. And we'll just call that main menu. All right. So now let's just create the transitions. Hit save. So now we want to tell our scene manager on the play game transition which scenes to load. This may feel disconnected, but it's ultimately because a tutorial scene manager could ultimately end up in more than one scene, depending on uh, how you set up your game. So we haven't created the scene yet, but I know what I'm going to name it, and we'll call that Tutorial Game Scene. And I'm just going to copy that. All right, we need to do that in our other scene. So I'm just gonna right click here and go to create scene. Let's go to our scenes folder. I'm gonna paste that and hit save. There we go, everything's set up for us. So let's click on our scene manager and go to the main menu transition and do the same thing. Main menu scene. Now we just need to add our start scene. And bingo. I go to the build settings. We've already got our main menu scene here and I accidentally added it twice. And let's make sure our tutorial scene's in there. And you'll wanna make sure you go down to U frame, go to elements, and let's just go ahead and copy this loading screen out. And let's add it. We move it out because, and you probably wanna rename this to something else. This way if there's an update to U frame, it's not gonna match up with this and replace it if you've added your own loading screen customizations. So now that our scenes are in our build settings, let's add our game root view to our scene. Add to scene. Now in Uframe 1.2, you always have to check the initialized view model just to make sure everything's wired up correctly. So let's go to the game root view and we're gonna make this extremely simple. And we're going to do a public void update. If input dot get down we'll do key code return and we'll do execute main menu so let's switch back to our main menu scene and obviously we want to save that And there's one more thing we need to do. We need to go to the panel and make sure we say initialize the view model. We want to make sure that the main menu scene view is wired up correctly. So we hit run. 
And we've got a message here because we also have not uh, initialized our menu screen and our start screen. So we need to set our start screen as the login screen. So let's run that. Let's do the U-frame. Hit play now. I think we're in the other scene. Hit enter. We go back. And thanks for watching.